hundred years ago, there was a life where giant monsters called Titans existed. These Titans appeared and destroyed humanity. The people of that time fought to survive the Titan attacks. They agreed to build a giant wall to protect themselves from the Titans and live longer. There's this guy named Aaron. He shares a hope with his friends, Armin and Mikasa. He says that he wants to see and venture beyond the giant wall, hoping to witness something different from what he's seen inside the walls all this time. Frustrated, Aaron kicks a piece of metal and accidentally uncovers a hidden image on the missile wreckage. The image depicts a woman standing in the middle of the ocean. Consumed by curiosity, they decide to approach the giant wall. To their astonishment, they are taken aback by the immense strength and solidity of the wall, as they had never seen it up close or touched it before. After a while, they are caught red-handed by the patrolling police in the area. However, they are saved by Captain. Later, the captain explains to them that the military police are currently gathering a regiment of scout troops to explore beyond the walls. Out of nowhere, a colossal titan emerges from beyond the walls, towering in immense size. This titan appears highly enraged and ablaze. Aaron and the others are utterly astonished as it marks their first ever encounter with a titan up close. Unexpectedly, the titan breaches the seemingly impenetrable giant wall allowing smaller titans to infiltrate the inner area. This forces Aaron and the others to flee in a desperate attempt to save themselves. While fleeing, Armin gets separated from Aaron and Mikasa, losing track of their whereabouts. The scene inside the walls is chaotic and disarrayed, with residents running helter-skelter in a desperate bid to save themselves. Tragically, some of them fall prey to the titans, becoming their unfortunate meal. Eventually, the residents manage to find a safe haven. However, it proves insufficient to accommodate the entire population seeking refuge. The people are crammed together, struggling to enter the sanctuary. Fortunately, Aaron successfully makes it inside. Unfortunately, Mikasa is left outside as she tends to a baby in her arms, determined to save its life. Aaron, witnessing the situation, is helpless as the residents inside forbid him from opening the door. Outside, a titan lurks, observing Mikasa and preparing to devour her. In the end, the chaos comes to an end. Only Eren manages to survive from that place. He is deeply devastated, having lost the people he holds dear. Two years later, we see Eren and Armin willingly joining the ranks of the scout regiment within the military police. Surprisingly, Armin also survived the incident from two years ago. In the training camp, they are taught the art of survival. Eventually, they set off towards the wall. However, along the way, they come across something peculiar. Intrigued, they decide to investigate and uncover the truth behind the unusual occurrence. On the other side, Aaron and Hiana find themselves separated from their group. This occurs when Hiana stops upon hearing a crying child. As they approach the source of the sound, they are astonished to discover that it emanates from a baby titan. Filled with shock, Aaron and Hiana hastily retreat, while the baby titan cries out, summoning other titans. On the other side, a titan emerges from the opposite direction. The group is forced to scatter and flee for their lives. Shortly after, Captain Shikishima and Mikasa arrive to save them. Aaron is greatly surprised by Mikasa's sudden arrival. After all the events, the scout regiment appears deeply saddened by the loss of some of its members. Later, the leaders of the regiment are shown investigating something at an explosive weapon site. The following day, the scouts are seen packing explosive materials into a truck. Then they turn to Aaron who was in a conflict with Jean. Jean blamed Aaron for everything that had happened. They then engaged in a fierce fight, launching attack after attack, until Mikasa came and broke them up. After that incident, Captain Shikishima noticed that Eren had quite a good fighting ability. So, Captain Shikishima invited Eren to go somewhere. In that place, the captain explained that it was him who saved Mikasa two years ago. Moreover, Captain Shikishima also taught Mikasa how to kill titans. Eren, upon hearing this, was surprised because he also had a strong desire to kill titans. Armin was telling Sasha about his dark past and his hopes for the future. Armin wished that one day he could see the vast blue ocean beyond the walls. Suddenly, 
General Kubel arrived and overheard their conversation. Aaron met with Mikasa. Aaron apologized to Mikasa for not being able to help her two years ago. Then, Mikasa showed him the scar she received from that incident two years ago. Aaron was left speechless. His heart shattered as he witnessed the closeness between Mikasa and Captain Shikishima. Aaron couldn't contain his emotions any longer and let out a loud scream. However, someone suddenly appeared and tried to stop him. Aaron and this person then had a conversation. Suddenly, a horde of titans attacked the resting scout troops. General Kubel immediately ordered the scout troops to protect the explosive bombs they carried from being destroyed by the titans. But then, a mysterious individual with a truck carrying explosives emerged. Instead of escaping, they detonated themselves and the truck, plunging into the horde of titans. On the other side, Jean and Aaron were trapped on the rooftop of a building, surrounded by several titans. Gathering his resolve, Aaron daringly attempted to strike down one of the titans. However, this act resulted in him losing one of his legs. On the other side, Jean, who was also trapped on the rooftop, was eventually rescued by his friends. However, Armin was captured by one of the titans. Mikasa appeared visibly torn, unsure whether to save Aaron or Armin first. Unexpectedly, Aaron, using his remaining leg, attempted to rescue Armin, who was on the verge of being devoured by the titan. This ultimately led to Aaron being consumed by the titan. Seeing that, Armin felt really sad and devastated. To make matters worse, all the troops were now surrounded by the titans. Suddenly, a different kind of titan appeared. This titan started attacking the other titans. It seemed much stronger than the others and was also very clever, knowing the weaknesses of the other titans. Seeing that, I don't know why, but Mikasa immediately remembered Eren. After slaughtering the titans, the powerful titan finally grew exhausted. Then, Mikasa tried to confirm her intuition, and it turned out that the person behind that titan was indeed Eren. This shocked everyone who witnessed it. It proved that humans can actually become titans.